Hi guys, this is Ang, and thanks for watching this video. In uh, this short video, I'm going to introduce you to Utheme and particularly the uh, Warp uh, 7 framework and how Utheme uses that to uh, create templates. And um, uh, I'll just give you a quick overview in this video. The next video, I'll show you the back end and how we customize a style, a, a Warp uh, framework. Um, as you know, if you want to find out more about Utheme, uh, go to their website, utheme.com, and you'll arrive um, and you'll arrive at their website and you can find out more information about them. The other thing that I would do is if I wanted to um, pick a theme, I would go to utheme.com slash demo and I would look through the different themes that they have and some of the layouts and features. So First of all, um, let's go through and pick a template. Um, Utheme produces a new template every month. Um, so for 2014, we have two templates. Um, Avenue is the latest template. You can uh, look on this, uh, the uh, left-hand um, sidebar and see the, the, different, um, uh, the, the different systems and framework um, and see if it's compatible with your version of Joomla or your version of WordPress. Um, so this is the latest version, uh, Warp 7.2, um, and uh, that's basically what we want. So just a couple of, uh, a few other things um, about uh, picking a theme. Um, you can uh, choose uh, different styles to your theme by clicking the home and, and just hovering and clicking through and seeing the different layouts um, for, um, for each um, theme uh, style. It's just a variation of the default theme. Um, the other thing that you can look at is uh, you can hover over the preview here and it will show you the different, um, again, the different um, styling to the default um, the default theme. So yeah, so that's a good place to start. Um, and the other thing that I would do and the other thing I, I usually do is I, um, I, if I'm if I like a theme, what I do is I look at um, a few different things. So the first thing that I would do is I look at the layouts of the theme. Now, all of uh, Uthemes uh, template are laid out in this way, so you can go through um, whatever um, template interests you, and you can you know go through the same steps. So the layout gives you an overview of the modules um, within the framework. Um, you can also have a look at the layouts. Um, this section here is the article, um, and this gives you a great overview of what's involved uh, with this particular theme and how many modules um, are there and the, their position. So that's a good reference um, if you want to know where the modules are. The other thing that I like to look at is, um, or, or that you might be interested in, uh, is um, the UI kit. Um, the UI kit, um, as it says here, is a lightweight and modular front-end framework and it's used for uh, developing uh, powerful web interfaces. So um, you can uh, visit the website and um, read more about UI kit, uh, but basically this is what UI kit will look like on this, um, this theme, this avenue theme. Um, it's um, it has already been styled and um, UI kit is saved in its own folder. So as you can see, um, uh, anything that you use um, will take on the styling. Um, for examples, uh, the table will look like this for this particular theme. Um, so that's just a rough overview of UI kit and how that styles the website. The um, other thing that you might be interested in looking at is widget kit. Widget Kit has a series of um, uh, slideshows and, and picture galleries, you know, all really uh, visual and really eye-catching. So um, if you do want to add an extra element, an extra oomph um, to your uh, design, you know, look through these different um, uh, Widget Kit uh, slideshows and galleries and see what interests you. And um, Widget Kit is really easy to use. Um, all you need to do is just to put a, um, 
uh, a reference uh, widget kit and the reference number and um, and you'll be able to reference that and it'll bring up whatever um, slideshow or whatever gallery that you've put in. Um, so that's just a quick overview of UI kit, a widget kit, um, and uh, how they work. Um, those, those are probably the most important thing when you're working on a U-theme template. The other thing that I would uh, encourage you to do is besides looking at um, the different themes, is um, to uh, to also go into UCore. Now, uh, let's say you're interested in this particular theme avenue. Um, you when you actually start working on the theme, you can't use things like um, uh, Firebug, you know, to look at the code because there's this iframe um, that goes over the actual theme. So what I would do is um, I would um, Look, the, look up this uh, particular template, um, just Google it. So what I would do is um, type up UCore and the name of the theme, maybe NUE Avenue. And you should see a link that says um, UCore.com, the name of the um, template and whether it's a Joomla template or whether it's a um, WordPress template. So there's just a few uh, quick uh, tips and tricks uh, for using uh, Warp uh, theme and for choosing a template. I hope that helps you. In the next video, we'll just go through uh, and see how we can customize the backend of a U-theme template. So see you in the next video.